Commander Bakara's Nova Corps has landed on Megito. They're establishing a front line and going against the battle droid army in this bridge offensive. The droids have established lines here. There was some clone shelling that wrecked a few of their forces, but for the most part, they're still intact. They have less armor than the clones, however, they do have defensive advantage here. They're outnumbered about two to one, but of course, the clone troopers must assault into hardcore defensive lines. If you guys enjoy these videos, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below. Let's get into it. What's up gamers, I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then guys, let's go in slow-mo here and press start. This is of course the Gates of Hell Star Wars Galaxy at War mod, meaning it is the most realistic iteration of the Galaxy at War mod that we have access to. Way more realistic in terms of both the AI decision making as well as the graphics and all of that. It is truly a beautiful experience. And these TXs up here are getting shelled pretty heavily. Now, oh, jeez. Yikes! Oh my god! Whoa! Oh, that's so not good. Bro, what he, was that the AAT? That just killed like half of the Galactic Marines right there. Oh my goodness, dude. That is so bad. Is this- this AAT is still alive. Yeah, it's got 120 kills already. Oh my god. This might be too powerful. I, I don't know if the clones are going to even make it off the bridge against this thing when their TXs can't even kill it here. These are TX-130Gs, so they're Grenadier TX-130s, meaning they have more explosives on board versus the TX-130Ts, which are primarily anti-infantry. Uh, so these should be the ones that are capable of killing an AAT. Uh, and they are completely flopping at this point in time. Maybe that did it. That did do it. Okay, it has been decrewed. Thank goodness. Uh, can we check how many kills it got? 123 kills. My god. Okay, well, we're gonna have to see if the clones can basically already make a comeback from losing 123 soldiers at the very start of the battle. Oh, that was so brutal. There is still a couple more droids on the bridge here defending as well, it looks like. But, wow. Really brutal, brutal battle from the get-go here. TX is pushing forward. They need all the help they can get. So yeah, keep those vehicles alive, my guy. And it gets hit by constant rocket fire right there. And it very well might die very, very soon. So guys, real quick, before we get too far into this video, I wanted to do a huge thank you to you guys. I know I already did this on the uh, Daily Tactics Discord, but thank you so much for 600k subscribers, boys. That is just absolutely astronomical. Um, we've been doing this channel for years and years now, and to still be growing and still hitting these milestones just means so much to me. Um, you know, having viewers who constantly watch my videos um, and just having the fan support and stuff like that. I know there's a lot of different series on this channel and not everyone is here for every single series, but if you're here for anything and you've subscribed and you've joined the channel uh, and you've, you know, not joined the channel, the, the join button, but I just mean join the channel as in join the community. I just want to say thank you so, so, so much from the bottom of my heart because it really does mean the world to me uh, to be able to do this as my full-time job and I would not be able to do this as my full-time job if it wasn't for the fans. Oh my god, the clone troopers are getting decimated right now. Droid vehicles might be too powerful for the clones because uh, they've also got this micro AAT over here, which was actually a toy, believe it or not. People were telling me in the last video on shelves in like Target or something like that, uh, that they made into this mod. So that's kind of funny. But things are not looking good for the clones, man. Not at all. So either way, guys, thank you again so, so, so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, 
you guys have uh, made my dreams come true and uh, we're gonna continue pushing uh, hoping to hit 700k uh, maybe by the end of the year or early next year and then from then on until we hit one milli baby and also thank you guys so much for uh you know subbing to daily bricks and uh you know daily productions those are sort of my three main main channels that i end up using uh, and then i have some peripheral channels like um daily ops right now is primarily oh my god we're gonna have to restart this battle with infantry only uh daily ops right now is primarily just total war content and uh arma 3 content and then um Daily Studs is just, like, extra content for the uh, LEGO videos, just background vlog content. So, yeah, seriously, guys, thank you so much. It means a lot. I'll stop gushing. Uh, and the clones are just completely wasted here. There's a bunch of them in the water down this way. I think they can get up via this. So that'll be interesting to see. But this thing right here might be small, but it's got 140 kills and a vehicle kill. Let's go ahead and fast forward here, um, and, and we'll time lapse this because I'm pretty sure the clones are completely losing this thing. Um, and we'll restart it at the end here with uh, infantry only because I think this is just too much for the clones to handle. All right, well, um, the clones did end up losing this. Uh, they did kill this by flanking over here, but then quickly got shot down by the back droid defenses here. Um, we're going to try this with literally no vehicles for either side, because uh, I think that might be more fair. All right, boys, infantry only this time around. Let's see how the clones do this time. Uh, potentially more problematic for them, because obviously... Uh, well, probably not as problematic, because that AAT and mini AAT absolutely destroyed them, but still going to have some problems, because there's a lot of droid infantry here, and this droid infantry died pretty quickly in the last battle just because of the clone tanks. Um, and the clone tanks themselves had about 60 kills. I mean, that's nothing compared to, like, the 240 kills that the droid tanks had, but, you know. <laughs> I think this will actually be a bit more of a balanced battle now because we don't have tanks for either side only a couple galactic marines going down here that's not too crazy because of the fact that the droids have significantly less troopers in the very very front lines here than the clones have so it makes sense that the clones would just kind of overwhelm them over this way any kills the droids get at this junction in the uh, battle is pretty decent and we've got fallback points of course for the droids many many fallback points so They'll manage to make a little bit of a comeback here. Um, we got... Is it really just one dead clone? I thought more died. Oh my god, it's just one dead clone. Wow, okay. Well, the clones have balled up and are now going to assault uh, the bridge here and attempt to get it done. Can we go into normal speed without too much lag? Um, we're hovering right at about... Ooh, 11 FPS is not exactly the best. <laughs> Yeah, we need some clones to die to get our FPS back up. Looks like we have the flanking uh, clone troopers over that way yet again. That's going to be pretty smart. Uh, but let's time-lapse the bridge assault because the clones are really just going to ball up and, and dominate this here. All right, boys, so that was about a five-minute time-lapse right there, uh, which is kind of what I expected. Very, very slow going for the clones without really them losing too much because this isn't a great choke point area. I think the clones are going to start taking real losses when they have to assault this area here, the interior bit, as well as the back bits. I think this is where we're going to start seeing clones dropping due to droid fire being so much greater. Um, as of right now, the clones have still only lost... Looks like four soldiers. That is disastrous uh, for the droids. Definitely pretty crazy. Um, and it goes to show just how vehicles can completely change the shape of a battlefield entirely. Um, and, and the droids, you know, they've got good defensive positions further back, so I think they will start getting more kills. Uh, but for right now, it is definitely not going super well for them. Uh, they're getting sniped by clones. They're getting just murdered by clones. It, it is brutal. A little bit of rocket fire right there. Whew! It is tough. Uh, let's watch them continue to try and push and cross the bridge.
All right, the clones have finally made it across the bridge. It took them about 10 minutes to do that. Uh, and they're still not technically completely over here. So kind of crazy. Let's bump it up a speed now. Uh, I mean, we were in slow-mo, but that's because it would lag too much to be in normal speed at the very beginning right there. And even semi-normal speed is still a little bit laggy. I'm excited for these guys to cross over again because that'll be a cool little flank route. Um, we do have some good droid positions over this way to hold out. Uh, the problem is right now the clones are just balling up and, and destroying everything. There is no trickle in going on here at all and they are just dominating the battlefield. It's not an easy look for the droids at the moment. Um, let's see their losses again. All right. Oh, well, here, this uh, yellow are clone losses, and it looks like the clones are taking more losses here. That's very, very good. All right, as long as the clones continue to exponentially lose troops, the droids might just be okay. And we have a nice little uh, droid presence underneath that uh, downed tower right there. And I think that will be of some good assistance because uh, those guys are kind of around the corner. They can sneakily kind of fire if they hit their shots. I'm not seeing any of these droid shots actually connect here. Holy cow. And actually, statistically, the droids have, because people are counting uh, this year, uh, the wins and losses for the droids and the clones in both Men of War and Gates of Hell. So big shout out to the people doing that because it's super fun. But statistically, the droids have done a little bit better, I believe, uh, than the clones overall in Gates of Hell. So in this instance, uh, the clones are definitely doing a lot better, and it's just because they're using good tactics here. They're pushing as a full unit versus individually, uh, which matters deeply. Actually, a lot of clones are dying over this way, though. Ruh -ruh. All right. Well, the clones are starting to, to meet a little bit more of a match for themselves here. They, they are definitely losing more and more troops. Let's see the losses now. Yeah, they've lost probably like 15 or, or so troopers. Uh, I mean, still not crazy losses or anything like that. Uh, but it does matter. It is increasing, and that is going to help out the droids substantially going forward uh, as long as they pick off troops bit by bit. We've got a few droids up here still uh, that can kind of head glitch a little bit, but those are really hard shots to make. These E5s are not landing their shots very well. And then, of course, we've got the droids in here who already are taking some losses too. How? That is crazy. The clones must be getting some nutty shots in. Absolutely insane. I mean, I guess these are the Galactic Marines, so it makes sense. We're going full speed now with the clone troopers moving on forward. Uh, they are continuing to take some losses as they push in. Uh, but nothing too crazy just yet. They they really need to start taking some losses for the droids to even have a chance here. I don't even want the droids to win. Uh, I'm a clone fanboy. I just I just want to see a little bit more of a balanced fight here. And it seems like I have struggled wholeheartedly with balancing this fight overall. Because with a tank, uh, the droids were way too dominant. Without any tanks, the clones are a little bit too dominant. There we go. There's a nice death on the bridge there. Let's see if that turns into a little bit of a death trap for the droids. Nope, that might have been a one-off because that guy made it in perfectly fine. <laughs> Incredible. Oh my god. Alright, the, the clones are just kind of making it up here pretty good. We got grenades going off on the left. Ooh, okay, alright, more clones going down. I am kind of rooting for the droids now because I want to see the droids at least get some kills. There we go, there we go. Clone massacre up top on top of the stairs right there. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, these droids are just vibing right now. Not sure why they're not firing, but they could be helping their boys. They are not. Uh, these guys also not really firing too much right now. Droid Sniper missing his shots. Impressive. All right, these guys in here probably ranking up their veterancy, which will be very good for them. Two kills, no kills, no kills. One kill. Who's getting all the kills? Is it these guys? This guy's got four. This guy's got two. This guy's got three. So these guys are definitely getting some kills. Very nice. Yeah, this is this could be a good stop point for the droids here. All right, clones moving in this way and droids firing into them from the side over this way. Kind of hugging the wall, trying to use it as cover almost. Very, very derpy situation here. I'm not sure why neither side is really shooting each other. Maybe it's because of the overhang here. Sometimes overhangs do glitch things out in the battle a little bit, so that could be it. More clones running in over this way, too, and these droids just side-sniping them from over here. We got more action up this way, though, as more clones attempt to cross up over the staircase right there and into these droid lines, um, and some of them are just blitzkrieging over this way uh, while there's a little bit of clone cover fire going in from the front, which is a good strategy. That's not too bad. These droids do end up 
Uh, taking some losses there, probably gonna go down. Middle droids, though, still holding tight at the moment, uh, with very little clone resistance uh, going into them. So this is, this is where things get a little bit freaky deaky, with the droids finally starting to get some kills and uh, make a little bit of a comeback in this battle. They certainly did not get like any kills at the very start, but now they're starting to even the odds. Yellow are dead clones, red are dead droids. A lot more dead clones on the battlefield now. Uh, even on this side of the battlefield, we're getting more dead clones as they come up through the water uh, into this flank position right here, which isn't much of a flank anymore because the main force is almost kind of past that point. Ooh. Little standoff. No firing. And then a droid just domes a clone right there. Oh! They retaliate, getting to kill themselves. Not bad. Honestly, one, one clone grenade in there, and almost all of these droids are completely wiped out, so... See if that happens. Ooh. The droids are very choosy on when they fire at these guys, huh? Dude, if this clone just eats a grenade... Nope. He's being a lughead. Dude, just one grenade. Just one grenade. The droids are pulling out a grenade. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Alright, there's a, there's a droid grenade. Clone grenade! Very derpy fighting right now. Well, that's going to be bad. Oh, the droids didn't notice it. But those clones got wiped out as well. Oh, what the, how did you get in here? This is, this is some hella derpy battling right now. Wow. Oh, okay. All right, fair enough. <laughs> These clones over here getting massacred. I think it's because of this overhang. I think it... But, but for some reason, the, the droids were shooting when they were over there. I don't... I don't know. Now the clones are coming in full force, and I think uh, the droids will get got. Yeah, that is exactly what's happening now. <laughs> kind of derpy fighting going on across all ends of the battlefield. This is especially derpy. I don't, I don't know why no one's killing each other over here, but it's, uh, it's very interesting, to say the very least. Guys, you can you can kill the clones. You can shoot them. You outnumber them in here. What is happening? Well, there's one clone dying. It's so strange when they choose to shoot the clones. It's got to be because they're on the interior or something like that. That has to be it. I don't know. So for some reason, that does glitch things out, um, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. They're just co-mingling in here. They're just all hanging out together. Oh, this droid decides to open up. Other droids decide to open up a little bit. Well, it's very fascinating what's happening in here. Very stupid. Oh my goodness, dude. What the heck? I mean What is this? All right here shoot them Get get everyone going there we go that seemed to get people moving a little bit, but no All right, I'll leave them be they can figure it out themselves over here still two droids left alive over here I that is derpy, man. That is derpy. Uh, it looks like some clones tried to assault this droid position over this way. Got wiped out pretty good. And on the far right side over here, we've got a nice spread out Galactic Marine Assault over here. This is what we like to see. This is much more intelligent. The left side flankers seem to be doing a much better job than the right side at the moment. I don't know if it's because they have an easier area, but spreading out like this and uh, spamming fire to suppress covering fire stuff like that that is definitely the way to go about these assaults and so the clones over on this side definitely getting an a plus uh maybe a b plus they could have better aim um and then the clones in here getting an f and the clones over here getting maybe like a d M maybe if that's being generous i'm not entirely sure okay so they've cleared out this area now they've got a few droids under here that's going to be a big grenade right there if the clones don't get away from it go 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 Okay, a couple clones tried to get away from it, didn't move far enough, and ended up dying. So that's a big position right there. We got some droids back here. Um, and it looks like all the exterior droids surrounding the outside area are dead. Clones did the smart thing and just grenaded those guys to get the kills. Um, and now we got these droids over here getting some shots in on some clone troopers. What happened in here? Alright, we've still got droids. Somehow. I don't, I don't know. It's so derpy and over here. We've still got a couple more droid units But it seems like even though the clones started to run into some serious problems in the later half of this battle They're still likely going to get the W here as the droids have just Completely goofed up the interior defense there to be fair the clones have also goofed up their assault here So I'm not entirely sure who's to blame It's just derpiness for the sake of derpiness. I suppose I don't know. Uh, last few droids over this way. Probably gonna go down. Oh, they got grenaded. Yeah, that'll kill them. That'll do. 
You know, grenade warfare, always fun. Oh, a little bit of clone death, a little bit of clone death. Not bad. But now these guys are going to get surrounded from both sides and probably get get killed. That was a weird droid grenade that pushed them away from their position and into the line of fire. That's some stupidity right there. Uh, and I think finally, yeah, the only droids left alive are these ones in the interior here. Let's send in a hit squad to go take them out. Wow. A uh, very, very strange battle that we've got going on here. Um, <laughs> supposedly realistic due to the graphics and the AI, and yet the AI completely boofs it. Look at that. Disgusting. All right, all right. Do I need to do this myself? Because this is just derp beyond derp. Yeah, look. I, oh, someone else grenaded them before I could do that. Interesting. Wait, there's still one more droid here. There we go. Fascinating. <laughs> what a battle. Very, very interesting. Um, if you guys want to go along with the first battle being lore accurate, I understand. If you want to go with the second one, I understand as well. The clones took an absolute beating in the second half of this, but on the bridge, they were so dominant. And getting off the bridge, they were very dominant as well. Um, and then finally... They started doing things over this way. But when there was just a few tanks for the droids, the clones got absolutely walloped. Oh, so t take it or leave it. You know, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.